It feels great, just great, to welcome you all back to campus for the start of the new academic year. When I arrived at Skidmore just over a year ago, we were right in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, and it was unclear just how the school year would go. Now we look back on last year with a sense of pride in all we accomplished together, and also humility at how challenging the pandemic has been and how much it has taught us about the inequities and challenges in this country and throughout the world. Of course, COVID-19 is still very much with us. Yes, we are returning to fully in-person classes and all the great elements of college will be available this year. Live theater performances, concerts, athletics, club sports, social gatherings, exhibits and lectures and programs, and so much more. That is wonderful and cause for celebration. We know what it's taken to get here but masking indoors will be a requirement for the start of the fall semester for as long as our region remains a high transmission area. We're watching carefully to see how vaccinations increase and infection rates fluctuate. Will there be breakthrough cases even among the vaccinated? What will the impact of the more contagious Delta variant be and for how long? We are not past this global crisis yet and our continued care vigilance and mutual support will be crucial as we work, live, and learn together this fall. But we know how to do this. We know how to take care of ourselves and each other. We know what it means to be all in, all in for each other and for our community. That's how we got through last year and we did it remarkably well. And that's how we'll move forward this year too. If all in was our theme last year, returning together is the theme for this year. We return from the struggle of last year and we build on our collective efforts so that together we can build a year of achievement and collaboration that we will never forget. To the newest members of our community, our new students, staff, and faculty, I welcome you to a truly extraordinary college. Skidmore is one of the great liberal arts colleges in the nation and among the very finest when it comes to the studio and performing arts. Now we're very excited to be opening cutting edge interdisciplinary science facilities as part of the college's new Center for Integrated Sciences. And we have one of the few management and business programs among all the great liberal arts colleges. This remarkable combination of core liberal arts combined with pre-professional programs makes Skidmore a model of the 21st century liberal arts college. We prepare our students to thrive in the world, sending them forth with skills, experiences, knowledge, and character to help them transform the world for the better. That's a noble mission one that inspires me every day to give everything I have to our great college. And we're more than a place of learning. This is a community, a place where we support each other, challenge each other, and support one another in the challenge. To truly learn, you have to be brave enough and trusting enough to take chances, to know you'll make mistakes and to understand that your community will help you move on from those mistakes. That's what a community is all about. So to our returning students, I say, let's do it. Let's throw ourselves into this year, knowing how much last year required of us and how much it took from us. Let's make of this year everything we possibly can. Yes, COVID is still here, but we are so much safer with the vaccines and we can do so much more. We know how to live with the pandemic. There are no limits upon us. Let's boldly take on this year and make it all we want it to be. To our staff, for the past year and a half, you have protected us, you have fed us, you have sustained us, you have kept us safe. You've done your jobs with the same grace and care and quality that you always do and in the most difficult of circumstances. Thank you. 
I'm eager to share with you all the wonderful aspects of a regular college year, helping our students learn and experience and thrive, and helping to make Skidmore a place where everyone feels at home and welcome. And to our faculty, for months I've been telling audiences, do you understand what our faculty accomplished last year? Do you know how tough it is to take a class and reconceive it for a virtual or hybrid presentation or to teach it in person in the midst of a pandemic? And our faculty did it. You delivered the full Skidmore education. You held office hours. You advised theses. You helped students get into graduate school and land internships. You published books and papers, conducted research, and did all the amazing things that only a brilliant, dedicated, world-class faculty can do. Thank you. And here's to all that we can accomplish this year, still with some constraints, but getting closer to that unfettered world for which we long. There are many special events and initiatives happening this year, things that will transform our college and help us achieve all we hope to accomplish in the future. Among them will open a new DEI space, currently referred to as the Center, in Case Center, offering a collaborative all-college space for events, programs, gatherings, and meetings. We also welcome two new Vice Presidents, Dean of Students and Vice President for Student Affairs, Dr. Adrian Batista, and our Collier Vice President for Advancement, Carrie Ann Zuka. These are crucial new leaders to our community who will help Skidmore achieve our highly aspirational goals. We'll also continue work on our campus master planning process, helping us to envision the future of our campus for years to come. And we'll make continued progress on our racial justice initiative, part of our ongoing effort to make Skidmore the community of trust we all want it to be. Although we're a year delayed, we'll celebrate the 10th anniversary of Zankel Music Center and the 20th anniversary of the Tang Teaching Museum. And we'll hold a presidential inauguration. We'll also kick off the 100th anniversary of Skidmore, our centennial, as an accredited college. I know this is an anxious time, and I know the world continues to be, in many ways, a frightening place. Everywhere we look, there are challenges and crises and injustices. But that is why a college exists, to bring people together to understand the world and to learn how to make it a better place. That is meaningful work. That is a life of consequence. I'm deeply honored to enter into that work with all of you this year. And I welcome you back to our campus with all the enthusiasm and hope that a new college year delivers. Here's to the year to come.